Welcome to IMA, Mrs. Jindal. You've been here before when we announced the JSW School of Public Policy to media. And uh, it's a great gift to the Institute to have that school with your uh, funding, uh, the School of Public Policy in this region. We're excited. And I know you head the JSW Foundation, the great work being done. Could you share some of it with us? Thank you for inviting me. And it is a privilege for JSW to imparting a little bit of uh, to giving back to society about this uh, school of public policy. Um, Sajin and I always wanted to start a university. That is our ultimate dream. But before doing that, um, uh, instead of acquiring land or building a university, we, have, we don't have the expertise to do on our own. So we would like to impart our giving back by doing something to improve our country. So uh, this idea of public school of public policy would be the first and that too in IIM Ahmedabad where the standards are very stringent and very uh, correct because there are certain things in India which still needs a lot of scope. Um, the school of public policy is for the larger good. It is not for one sector of the society. So I think this is one thing that we are very, very excited about. As far as the foundation that I, which, which I had is about giving back people at the right time. So we are uh, managing the education uh, for the rural uh, poor, for the underprivileged, um, to, uh, to empower many, many people and with special emphasis on women and children. Uh, we are also running, uh, we are running schools, uh, that's given, um, the Balwadis, Angan Badis, but the one speciality that we are doing is running BPOs for young girls. And these young girls are like eight past and um, either they get married or they do not pursue any higher education. We train them and then each girl usually gets about 10,000 rupees a month. Um, so this is one thing that we are very proud of. Uh, we are also involved in sanitation and hygiene, especially for women and their problem of the menstruation and the sanitary napkins which are there in our country. And then also handle the garbage uh, for this. Um, many, many things, the malnourishment that we are doing in Karnataka and in uh, Thani district in Maharashtra. We are doing lots and lots of things. One little passion of mine is art and heritage. So we are very, uh, I am involved in uh, the restoration of Hampi. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a very important heritage site for the country in Karnataka. Yes. Yes. Belur and Helipid, yes. uh, um Belur, Patakal, everything. So we are um, sponsoring about three or four temples in Hampi that's and right. trying to um, improve the whole area of Hampi, the garbage system, their equipment, the Kamlapur Museum, the school, the, everything there we are trying to, I'm trying to do whatever little I can do. Um, I'm also restoring the synagogue in Mumbai yes. and uh, working towards the Alibag Fort in Maharashtra. So these, there are many, many neglected sites. In mm -hmm. India, it, it has a rich, rich heritage. The government is trying its best, but Absolutely. still they have not been able to handle it all. Sure, I think the corporate and the foundations like yours make a world of difference and government does need the, that uh, intervention and support. Yeah. So just as we do at uh, IMA, we're delighted that we we always connected with the world of practice uh, yeah. right since inception at IMA. Yeah. And this is a deeper connect with the corporate and we come up together to set up a school of public policy which would make a difference to the policy, yeah. uh, you know, for different domains within the country. Your, uh, if I may ask, your family has been into philanthropy on both sides. Your parents were into philanthropy and if I'm not mistaken, even your grandparents uh, were into the uh, philanthropy. Now your mother heads the Kanoria Art Center at Ahmedabad and both sides of the family have supported education and health. So how does it work? Being in a family on philanthropy, very significantly in the social sector. 
I think we all, uh, um, from where I was born and where I am now, it is a, uh, it is given. In our time, now there is a CSR money. Before that, uh, when I got married, we were told that there is a Dharmada account. So there is, uh, we, everyone has their accounts and one account was a Dharmada account. Now, of course, the government has uh, very rightly so given 2% to all corporates of the CSR money. Sure. So this has been very systematically. But before the system, all of us had our Dharmada account. Yeah, I, I, I guess some of the families, uh, industrial family, whether it was Bindla's or uh, your family, who, who contributed without uh, the mandatory CSR. And CSR, of course, would fund many more things. But uh, so it's on both sides, how, how does it feel? I mean, you grew up in the surroundings now. Uh, is that a, how do you see yourself when you grow up like your mother is still very active into very philanthropy? Active, yes. So what is it that you would most passionately want to pursue? You know, I think the main reason why I get so excited about this thing for two things. I'm an Indian and, uh, and I'm proud to be an Indian. But whenever I go abroad, as we all travel, and then sometimes I feel very small. When I go to, uh, I, go to Sto I was told that let's go, and go to Stonehenge mm -hmm. in Britain. I go there and I see that they have made the one stone edge and their small little uh, stones and they have amplified it. They publicize it. There is an interpretation center. There is facility. There are toilets. And I used to feel that, oh my God, we are trying to improve our country. We have, we have built these businesses. We can't even do this much. So, so whenever all of us go uh, out of the country, we feel that we have the capacity to Absolutely. be better than the world. Absolutely. My children have been, I'm taking them, they have, lived, they have studied abroad. But, but I don't think, I think they will fail if they have to sign the paper or get an admission in IMA Ahmedabad. That's not <laughs> quite true. I think somehow so, when you have an easy option, when you know that you can afford the education there, so maybe one doesn't put in the best effort yes. to write the cat, I am a cat, and work that much harder. Uh, and you know, vis a vis, when you have limited options and when you know the option to study abroad is not there, but uh, you know, we would want them to at least come back to study at IMA, uh, executive yes. education program, have them connect with this institute. So I uh, think we are all proud Indians, and it is our duty to give back. Because uh, otherwise we are not worthy of it. We are, we are the ones, we live in a country which is a developing country, which is 80% of India are in rural poor. If we can't even do our bit, then we are not worthy of living. That's very modestly yeah. said ma'am. Uh, you won the Golden Peacock Award yes. in 2009, if I'm not mistaken, yes. for JSW Foundation's work. Would you like to tell us, you know, what was it work which got great recognition to get this award. No, I think uh, awards, I just got another baby award with the Sunday, Sunday Indian Express. I think this award is a source of encouragement because uh, what we have done is just a drop in the ocean. And as the business grows, the the amount of money that you get as the business grows, so the your account of CSR continues to increase. And it will, in, in, uh, we will impact many more lives. So I'm always very excited about my, uh, to help more people in my own country. You've written on art and heritage. I've seen your publications yes. at places. Could you tell us which is your most favorite publication and what's uh, uh, most exciting for you? There? I um, publish a, a quarterly magazine called Art India and I write myself the prelude. And also, uh, we have just published this book on Humpy. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the next publication that we're doing is the stories of Humpy, of Kishkinda Nagri, for the children below the age of 16. Because I feel that some of our for old folklore, mm -hmm. our old heritage, is not being transmitted to the next generation. So I'm trying to do whatever I can with my, with my other cap. <laughs> yeah. So what part of art and heritage can we see somewhat reflected 
in our JSW School of Public Policy Architecture there. I hope we'll have some image of, uh, you know, all your learning, the deep interest in the area and, uh, you know, I hope you would take interest in kind of some kind of internal modeling and see that, you know, we, yeah. we you know, we gain from your very rich experience in this area. Thank you. Um, I'm meeting Rahul Nerojra tomorrow okay. and uh, it is my desire that I will make this uh, the school of policy with our intervention will be one of the most aesthetic in the world, in your uh, uh, campus. So we can expect a signature building there with uh, so. Mrs. Yeah. Sangeeta Jindal's uh, rich experience yeah. and uh, art and heritage. I hope so. Anything, you know, you're a woman leader and we have uh, gradually uh, women uh, students numbers increasing, uh, you know, a greater gender balance on campus and our students significantly follow women leadership programs and definitely would want you to come and address them sometime. Is there a message that you would have for our young students, the women, uh, the girl students, you know, with your journey? I think the main thing is uh, women should never give up and pursue your dreams because a woman has to do many roles you have to handle the home and then you want to get into the professional field and uh, I feel that it is uh, very difficult for a woman to go ground up it is very tough even in JSW my main penchant is that the women should get into the senior cadre of JSW, which we have not, I have not yet been able to achieve. You know, there are more 90% men or maybe one or two, uh, one or maybe 5% women. So I think things will happen. I think the year of women will happen. But it will take a little bit more time. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for coming Thank to you. I am and we hope to see you more often on this yes. campus as we... Uh, set up the school and also to meet our students and you know share your life journey with them thank you so thank much thank you so much thank you